This isn't your typical classroom. We're inside Japan's first eSports high school, where students enroll to study video games. W で全身で A で左 All right, W A S D. Today, a lesson in Fortnite. A multiplayer online game with 70 million monthly active players worldwide. Where did you go? You're totally going to ambush me. I know it. My teacher Koki is one of them. Oh no! You're right behind me. How can you do? <laughs> And I'm getting get schooled. Oh, oh, oh my gosh! I will never be a professional gamer or anything like that. Thank you, Koki. I appreciate that. I know. Oh my goodness, that was intense. Its campus in Tokyo's Harajuku district has around 50 students. This does not feel like a typical high school at all. It feels like a tech campus with the rows and rows of desks, open plan office, all the high end tech equipment. And the students here are apparently learning their math and sciences and languages, but this place is all about nurturing the next generation of pro gamers. Unconventional, maybe. But teachers say this program helps students stay motivated and in school. Most experts agree video games can change the way we learn, interact, and feel. Take it back to Pac Man, for example. Created in 1980, it's one of the first games featuring a central character. As well as cutscenes like these, designed to tell you a story and create impact. I just woke up today is October 31st, Friday, and it's Halloween. Halloween, and uh, I'm kind of dying. Junghua Yang. Was just 18 years old when doctors gave him the news: "You may only have hours left to live." It was 2008. Young was a freshman at college when one day, I had a nosebleed for 14 hours, from 1 o'clock a.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. One of my friends said, "Hey, you know that this is really not normal. You should probably go go figure out what's going on." So I went to the health center, and they did a、uh, a blood test to see what happened. The results: an autoimmune disorder so rare and severe that hospital staff told Young he should draft his will immediately. It became、uh, a very dark moment of my life, as you can probably imagine. Now I am someone who is trapped in a hospital、uh, with no goals. Doctors would still continue to tell me, "Hey, maybe expect two more weeks. You know, maybe expect two more months." And eventually, that time just became longer and longer. So I became very lonely, and I turned to the thing that I was most、uh, familiar with, which is playing video games. Gaming wasn't new to Young. He first played games at age six alongside mom and dad. Video games for our family became this bonding event. And in that hospital bed, years later, it wasn't just about nostalgia. I was able to feel a sense of accomplishment, and I also started playing all these multiplayer games.、Uh, you know, games like World of Warcraft, games like League of Legends and Minecraft,、uh, and these games connected me to so many people around the world. It also gave him courage to keep fighting. Young says video games saved his life. Two years later, in 2010, he finally left the hospital. And that's when he first asked the question: What if I start making video games with intention of helping other people? What kind of power would that unlock? As a team, it should be that we should make games that are deep, complex, meaningful, and artistic. In 2014, Young launched Serenity Forge, a fledgling game studio that operated out of a basement with a handful of friends. 
Today, it's a multi-million dollar video game developer with 35 employees and nearly 60 titles under their belt. Serenity Forge is about creating games that are driven by meaning and value. We really focus on thinking about how a video game could affect our society, how a video game could really change a, a kid's life. One of his first games is called Loving Life, a visual novel game Young created in university about his own experience with illness. And tens of millions have played their games, he says. As our projects kept on getting bigger, we started just you know touching more people's lives. We nowadays get a lot of amazing fans uh, emailing us, sending us letters, showing us support, uh, doing fan art, and writing us very heartfelt messages uh, about how our games uh, change their lives, how our games save them. Over the years, he's shared that message with celebrities and audiences around the world. Games for Good, a decade-long journey to build worlds that connect people and create hope, just like they did for Young. You know, looking back at my life, I think about how I probably shouldn't have survived that night when I was 18 years old, but yet I'm here. So I need to make sure that whatever it is we do uh, continues to spread that happiness, spread that joy, spread that growth, and spread that value to every product that we touch.